My name's Sean James. I was one of the most feared yet revered Reaper men within the UK, specialising in getting cars back other agents couldn't get. Get him down! Sometimes the customers were a bit of a handful. I've had enough of it, mate. Other times, it was a whole different story. What is wrong with you? Down the car! No! You're going somewhere. What's the call, mate? Oh. How can you not make that? Oh. Oh. You rolling? Ah, oh, where do I start? been doing car repossessions now for 25 years. Let's get one thing straight. I didn't do the easy jobs. I got sent on the hard jobs. Drug dealers, traveler sites, you name it, I got sent on it. Sometimes I did them on my own, but most of the time I took backup. This is H. All right. Worked with me for 23 years. We've had some interesting times, haven't we, H? Wow. Yeah, we have. In our job, we've seen every type of customer, haven't we? Well, we've had angry ones, we've had upset ones, even violent ones. All directed at you, though. Yeah, it seemed that way, but maybe someone should have had my back. Oh, come on, I'm doing my job. I'm securing the vehicle. Oh, yeah, I'll give you that one. <laughs> <laughs> Any um, ones in particular you can remember? <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? Obviously, you, know, you can think of one. Mr. Badger. Oh, Mr. Badger. <laughs> Great name, but even better story. One person wanted to bury themselves in a hole. Mr. Badger. Mr. Badger. <laughs> <laughs> so then, today's one is Mr. Badger. I was speaking to a finance company. I think it's about 265 quid he owes. It's absolutely nothing. They wouldn't normally send a repossession warrant out for it, but it's a, it's a brand new contract and they just want us to pop by scare them a little bit and say, look, you know, you haven't made a payment. OK. Just pay up. he just pay up, when not he? only one payment. It's only one payment, so I should think so. I can't see him being that upset. But there's nothing on the system to say that he's a bad customer or we've had trouble with him. But he's a badger. Badger, <laughs> that was my sound of a badger. <laughs> my name's John Badger. <laughs> <laughs> I think badges are more like. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I've never heard of badger. Oh, I wouldn't want to if it sounded like that. Come on, give us your badger noise, H. Come on. I don't know any. I'll have to copy you. Just up. try it. Honestly, I haven't got a badger noise in me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm giving you mine. <laughs> That's, a... That's not <laughs> bad. Yeah, but look, you said you haven't got a badger noise. That is my badger noise. <laughs> So, like, there's no point mocking me. If you haven't got a badger noise, yeah, but... then you can't mock me over my badger noise. How do you know? If you don't know what a badger sounds like, how do you know a badger doesn't go, ah! <laughs> I could not tell you what a badger noise. You don't know what a badger noise makes, I'm sticking with it. <laughs> Fair enough. Hang on, I think it's just down here. Where's the top of it's just... just here. Oh, right, turn up there. Oh, is it in between some buildings? Is there a turn in? Yeah, there it. Yeah. yeah. What's that say? Oh yeah, leading to. Looks like a nice place, doesn't it? It does. Oh, there's the car. Oh, oh yes, she is. Let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa! Elephant in the room. That ain't our truck. It's my story. I can recall it however I want. Don't you like the new Jeep? <laughs> oh, yeah, I do like it. Well, shut up, then. All right, fair enough. <laughs> H, secure the vehicle. Yeah, no worries.
Right, mate. Yeah, he's Mr. Badger in place. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, round the back if you want to go around there. Is he? What, just past the fence panels? Yeah, if you just go around there, he's out in the garden. All right, thank you very much. No problem. He's round the back H. Stay out of the vehicle. All right. All right, is it Mr. Badger? Oh. What do you want? We've got a repossession warrant for your motor vehicle. Oh, I spoke to you lot, didn't I? Already. We're you coming around here. You remember we said it was going to be Friday? Yeah, it's Thursday today. What are you doing here now? I've never been here before. Oh, don't come out with all that rubbish, mate. Do you know what I mean? You told me Friday. I've been speaking to you on the phone all week. You lot come around here last week. You upset my wife. In fact, you threatened her on the phone. You threatened her at the house. She said that I'm all week. And I've had to put up with all that, and now you're coming around here. I told I've never you it's going to be here. Friday. I'll have the money on Friday. I don't know what you're talking about. Come back tomorrow, man. What's wrong with you? I'm not going to come back tomorrow. The car's here now. Listen, come back on Friday. It's one day, like we agreed. I haven't got a clue what you're going on about. <sighs> I've never been here before. Yeah, yeah. So who was I talking to? Who have I been talking to all week? I haven't got a clue. We're from a finance company for a motor vehicle. You want payment behind? Why are you saying all that? Is that just jokes? Are you just trying to... Get me go. Well, have you or made do a payment where the car's going to go? Listen, I know I owe a few payments, right? I know that. You owe and one. I'm going to get that. I owe more than that. I actually owe about three or four payments. I know that. And I already explained on the phone. I'll have my money tomorrow. That's why you said you're coming around tomorrow. I haven't spoke to you. You have. What, I haven't do you spoke mean? to you at all. You come around here and bothered my wife. Upset her. I haven't her. been here before. Listen, you upset my wife, mate. You're upsetting me now. I'm sitting here doing oh, my mate, work. I haven't even been here before. Right. What is going on around there? What are you doing that for? What, you think you're getting tough? Because no, you come I'm around here tough. bothering my wife. Listen, it's just you. you come Why? around here bothering my wife. I've never met your wife before. You have. What on earth's going on out there? I'm She's been upset all week, right? Because you lot come around here. Look at your mate there. I've two of you, big guys. Could have stepped in any time, mate. Just give me hands. Mate, my job's to kill the vehicle. You track the folder down. I know what's coming next. Yeah, and so did I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You think he's bad? You think you're bad? Why you think you're the vehicle, didn't I? You weren't expecting a big guy like me here, was you? You understand? Come I don't in know what you're talking mother. about. Oh. Oi, watch me plant. <laughs> Get off. <gasps> Ooh. I'm going to look after the car. Yeah. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Why is it always me? That was poor woman flowers. Didn't you ever shout him? Funny enough, H, I had a 20-stone <laughs> man falling on me, probably muffled the sound, added to a fact, knocked the wind out of me. No, I didn't hear her. Uh... Listen, mate, you come around my house. You, you attack me. You've mucked up my whole day. I tell me, you just threw me over a wall. Wife, get lost. What, what are you doing? I've already agreed all this. I don't even know what you're talking don't, about. Don't, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. I don't need your phone. I'm going to sort it that way. I'll sort it out my way, all right? So I'm not, I don't want to deal with none of this. The What's he doing out that? there now? Don't worry, I'll do it. Arguing, he'll argue with anyone, that fella. Honest to God. Let me sort this my way, mate. Come here. Going mad on me in my house. I'm going to have to have a staff meeting. I'm the boss. Why does this always happen to me? Why is it? Oi, oi. Didn't spot a garden in. First time someone's bought me flowers, mate, but you know what? I love you for it. Mate, I love you to bits, but I'm not being funny. Where was you? Listen, I've got the hardest job out of the two of us, securing the cars. We'll have a little chat when we get back, mate. What is that? What is that? Why do we need a chat? We're working out quite good here. How many times have you watched me get took through hedges? Quite a few. That's the you problem. Love, you... that, that right there <laughs> is the problem. All right? It's Honestly, bloke's mad. He thinks we've been here before. We haven't been there. We haven't spoken before. One payment. And they're getting took over a wall. I thought you was getting through to him back there then. Obviously not. I said no more jokes. I'm being serious, boss. Yeah, all right. Like I said, we're having a chat. That's enough. Be uh. serious now. Oh, here we go, H. Protect the car. Yeah. I told you I'm doing it my way. I want you to come around here. No more phone calls. Calling on this house. You understand? Yeah? 
you'll see this would come around and still be my day. Yeah? Give me I've had enough of it, mate. All of you lot. Question. Think I ain't gonna do it, yeah? What's it doing? Oh. What's he getting there? Try selling this, boys. Ooh. That's not going to work again, is it? No. You understand? Come on. He's doing a good job of that, isn't he? How long do you reckon he'll keep in there for? You reckon he'll carry on? Boys. Yeah. 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 There you go, boys. There you go. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah. It won't stop. Now. Are you going to tell them or shall I? You know what, mate? I think you should. Now, there you go, boys. All right, mate. You missed the wing mirror. <laughs> Funny, isn't you? Hey, it's going to get paid for it. I don't need to see any paperwork. I think you're going to want to see this paperwork. Yeah. Cheers, mate. There doesn't happen to be two Mr. Badgers in the house, is there? Yeah, why? Is one of them called John? Yeah, my son. Yeah, John. Why? I think we need to speak to him. What for? What's all the noise out here? Who's done that to the car? I did. Why? Because these lot been here mugging me off all day. Yeah, but you bought that for mum. She's got a cookery class in 20 minutes. It's a John Badger. Yeah, it is, Let's yeah. have a chat over here, mate. What's going on? There's a repossession warrant for your Ford Cougar. Yeah. And there's 265 pounds in arrears, one payment. So is there any way you can make my payment today? Yeah, that's no worries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll switch my bank accounts. I think that's where the mix-ups come into it. But yeah, I can make that payment now. Yeah, if you want to go and get your car, Yeah, yeah, mate, yeah, no worries. I'll come for me. When that penny finally dropped, it hit as hard as that sledgehammer. Hey, I was standing next to him when this and the colour just drained out of his face. <laughs> I still, to this day, can't believe he did that to his car. Ah, his wife's car. <laughs> Oh mate, got your card? It should go to the Jeep. No worries. What did you tell me? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Have you seen yeah. yourself? Yeah. Look what you've done to the car. Let's just sort this out. We can be on our way. Yep. And just ring a finance company. Yeah, because you come around here, didn't they? Come did around here. Give there. us a chance to speak. Come, come on, on. I think come on. look, look what you've done. All right, mate. Yeah, can you take a payment? Yeah, no problem. I'll give you the name and agreement number. Why didn't you just tell me that this was the wrong car? Did then we not I wouldn't try and have done this. Did we not try and tell you that? My what was your first me, thing? Mate. What was your first thing to do? Act like a big angry bear. And I was angry. Coming in, my, coming in my garden. Yeah, but you told me he wants money in it, which I thought he's supposed to be on Friday with the other guy. I didn't know it was another but firm, did I? If you listen to the rest of the conversation, you would have found out who we come for. You ain't listening when you're mad, are you? You're not listening when you're mad. My wife's going to go. All right, cheers, mate. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. All right. There you go, John. It's all gone through. Good, good. No worries. Just a quick question. Is your dad always like that? Yeah, he's terrible with anger management. He's got serious issues when it comes to this sort of stuff. Why well, you just didn't tell me? Just that's all I needed was just Mate. say, even if I'd started it and you said, listen, this ain't the right car or something like that. Because... He was actually going to a supermarket the other day. This is why I won't go to the supermarket with him anymore. He had a full bag of shopping. It's split and gone all over the car park. So he's ended up booting it everywhere. And then he's picked up a cucumber, walked back into the supermarket and asked to see the manager. 
and he's whacked him over the head with it. Oh, mate, good luck. Thank you. No Thanks worries. Very much. I can't believe it, mate. I can't believe it. Look at the state of it. You let me go and do all this. I didn't let you do nothing. As I said, you're a big dude. Come on, H, she's paid. Let's go. Look at it. Look at the state of it. Listen, oh, but I didn't mean to do it. They've done it. They've yeah. come over and they've well, done it. But you've done something, didn't yeah. you? Because you never paid for it. But I didn't mean to. Yeah, They've come here done and been guys but come you've and done, done it. it. Another car. I don't care about another car. Look what you've done to this one. If you'd have done what yeah. you're supposed to do, yeah. we'd all be all right now, wouldn't we? Man, that one was crazy. It certainly was. He just didn't want to listen. I told him so many times we haven't been before. I mean, he just didn't click. He was on about other agents. To be honest, those agents that come must have been pretty rude. Pretty rude. <laughs> he was fuming, wasn't he? He was. But imagine being a fly on the wall when those other agents <laughs> turned up and they'd seen the state of their car. Okay, okay, okay. That's my favourite repo. What's yours? Motocross. <laughs> H, I've been waiting a long time to do that one. That one was pretty eventful. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Ring, 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 Hello? You are right, Sean? All right, Craig, how are you doing? I'm all right, mate, you? Yeah, fine, thanks, yeah. fine. What do I have this pleasure? Um, you had a lad that you was after that you, you mentioned to me the other night. Yeah. And I think he might have just turned up at my track while I'm doing a training school. Training track? His name's Steve, the kid who's here. He's a big gobby. Steve Strump. I've got his van ready, if that helps. VK09. Yep. It starts with. And then it's X-Ray Hotel Uniform. That's the one. Yeah, he's here. All right, yeah, and um, I don't know if I'm reading it right. Is it uh, Husky, White? Yeah, White 252 show Husky, that's what he's on. All right, and Craig, whereabouts are you at the moment? Up at my farm, well, the training school, so if you want to head over, I'll, I'll come and open the gates. All right, then, I'll see you in a minute. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Bye. Bye, bye. That's a result, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. I'm sure that was the one that was gobbing off on the phone to us. All right, let's go and see Craig. H, when we're looking for specialist equipment, like this Husky 250, I mean, I didn't really know what it was. All I knew was a motorbike. Couldn't find the kid. I put it out to as many motocross tracks as possible. Take Craig, for instance, known him for years. He's got his own riding school, got his own track. Oh, this kid's a local lad, isn't he? So he's bound to show his face around these tracks eventually. And on this occasion, he picked the wrong one, didn't he? <laughs> Park's along here somewhere. If I recall, it's like an elephant's graveyard of like old art plant machinery and everything. Craig uses it as like these training tracks. It's got a good little course. There it is here on the right. Wait for Craig. Any good on the old motocross H? I'm going to have to say no on that. It's been a while since I've done it, boy. What about you? Yeah, I'll go with my son. Mmm. So you'll be all right here, then. Yeah. I've been waiting for this repo. Glad to hear it. Oh, here he is. Let's go and say hello. All right, Craig, how you doing? How you doing, Sean? You all right? Is he up there, is he? Yeah, he's up there, yeah. Bit gobbing off, was he? Just a little bit. Been after him for ages. Changed yeah. the dress, yeah. Changed the dress. And this is the first time we've had a well, chance to catch up with him. You ain't got a clue you're here, so it'll be a surprise. Yeah, it will be, right? Let's have some fun. Let's in there. Should we follow you then? Yeah, follow me up.
like going off roading, isn't it? Yeah. There's a vehicle, H. Oh! It's repo time! Show me your repo face before we get out. Go on. <laughs> go on, H, go on. <laughs> go on, give us your repo face. I haven't Where, got a repo face. Where's this kid? Go yeah. on, H, take the paper. Really? H, I told you, I've been waiting a long time for this repo. First chance I get, I'm riding. I thought I'd dress for the occasion. But as I recall, nobody got No, 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 no. I'm dressed for the occasion. I'm riding. Stephen Strump. Yes, mate. Yeah, it's a repossession order for your motorbike and the transit. Why? Because you haven't been paying for it, that's why. I've paid for this. Well, so we wouldn't be here when, would we? Hang on, let's have a look. No, you, yeah, four months behind on that one and five months behind on that one. A joke, mate. What's the joke? What, you haven't been paying? I've paid for that. You haven't paid for that? Who told you I was here? I did. Why? Because you was gobbing off earlier and you should pay your bills. You haven't even paid to ride. It's a joke. Yeah, it's not a joke, mate. Hey, see if the keys are in there, mate. Got the keys? What's going on, Steve? Try to repo my bike. No, you're not taking that. We are taking it. Nah, pick up somebody We are taking it. Nah, get on the bike. What's she got to do with go you? On, what do you mean, get on your bike? Oh, mate, go ahead. Oh. What are you doing? Hey, chuck us around me, mate. Jump short. I'm impressed. So I could ride. Fair enough. Same kind of around.
teach you to kick me in my chest, mate. Stay down. Just stay down. Hey, jump in the Jeep. Let's go. That was eventful. You know what? I'm impressed. I'm well impressed. I've known you all these years. I didn't know you could ride a motocross bike like that. Don't know how to brag. Yeah, but all the air you were getting, I mean, you must have been getting like, what, four or five feet in the air? That's pretty impressive for someone who rides occasionally with their son. H, we're mates, but I've got a feeling you don't believe me. Well, I mean, there's no well about it. So what are you trying to say? You've, uh, I've got someone to stand in for me? Let's just take, I don't know, Craig Chamberlain, for instance, who's rode seven times in the European Championships, four Great Britain, I might add, top 10, Hawkstone International. You only see think that during filming, we swapped over somehow, and he was doing all my jumps. How shallow do you think I am? Oh well, no, but... This... Hey, hey, right. I've known you 23 years, all right? If you're going to carry on like this, you know, we're going to fall out. Go yeah, sure, mate. Tea, milk, two sugars. Cheers, Craig. Nice one. Really? Really? <sighs> Moving on. <laughs> Never ceases to amaze me when we turn up to a customer and they don't acknowledge the debt they are. How come we didn't bring you one? Seriously. Right, who are we after? Who are we after? We are after Mr. Dylan Jones. What he's got for us is a spread booth and compressor. Compressor. Ooh. You go there, it compresses you into a little tiny H. Capital H, little H. It compresses you, mate. Quantum physics. Mr. Dylan Jones. Dylan Jones. Like Tom Jones. Probably Tom Jones, his dad. You like a bit of Tom Jones, don't you, H? Me? No, not really. He doesn't like Tom Jones. He's a Welsh legend. Seen him in Wales. I reckon Tom Jones would just come and meet us. Go out, lads. Any help? Any time in Wales, Sean, give us a call. Really? I love Tom Jones. Yeah, yeah, he's good. I'd throw my pants at him if he was singing. <laughs> he always gets pants thrown at him, doesn't he, Tom Jones? <laughs> no, he does. Women do it all the time. Yeah, but you're not a woman, you're a dude. Yeah, but, you know, dudes can like dudes. Doesn't mean, like, there's anything in it. It's a good-looking chap, old Tom. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think he'd be too impressed with it, but I would. I'd throw my pants at him. But would you swing them or would you screw them up and really launch my Uh I think I'd probably like screw them up. You'd get a bit of better aim, wouldn't you, if you screwed them up? Oh, and, Tom! Yeah, <laughs> and I don't think I would like... I'd probably be a couple of days wear, so a bit heavier. Oh, right in the kisser. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry, oh, God. Tom Jones is actually God in Wales. If you're looking at a Welsh Bible, it just comes up, Tom. You don't even have to put Jones, because everyone just knows who you're talking about. I think I remember chatting to a finance company about this bloke. He's literally got a place in the middle of nowhere. Probably thinks that no one's going to come for him. And it's raining. It's just up here. It's a bit remote, isn't it? Imagine Tom was waiting for us at the end. He's having his car sprayed. They were like, hello, Repo! Is that it up there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No time, then. Let's go and introduce ourselves. Got a folder, H. 
Cheers. Hey, mate. Yeah, is it Dylan Jones? It is, mate. Yeah, there's a repossession warrant for spray booth and compressor. What do you mean repossession order? Well, you're in arrears. With what? With your spray booth and compressor. Since when? You're four months behind and 3,500. You haven't made any payments. I've been paying it, mate. Well, obviously you haven't, you just won't be here. Well, I have, I have been paying it. It's direct debit, it goes out every month, I've been paying it. Well, do you want to give him a call? No. Oh, what, so you don't want to give him a call then? No, you don't need to, mate. Well, well, what happens now? What are you going to do now? Well, you either pay for it or we take the stuff out. Well, good luck. You're not going to get the spray booth out, mate. Yeah, we might not get it out, but we dismantle it so you can't use it. Yeah, good luck with getting it out, mate. Cases like this H, finance companies either want us to go in, get the equipment, all for payment. This bloke knows we can't take those spray booths. We can't repossess them, they're too big. Hence, he's not paying. But he knows, and we know, he needs that booth to carry on trading. All we have to do is take enough away to stop him operating. But they're normally sitting up and listening by then. Yeah, they normally are. Would you say the customers are more hostile, doing small ticket holding rather than cars? Well, car's a car. But when you start taking a man's livelihood, he's going to fight for it. Yeah, that's true. Old woman. Old woman. You've been punched a few times, haven't you? <laughs> I know I have. <laughs> so you're not even going to ring a finance company? No. Not no. even interested at all? No. Hey, just go and get the cases. So this is it? You're not going to do anything at all? No, mate. I've, I've been paying. Do you want to check? No. Do you want to ring them? No. Just going to yeah. sit there doing your wheels? Yeah. Well, we just get on with our job then? Yeah, crack on. You ready, H? Yep. So be it then? Yep. Clowns. It's definitely a spray booth. It is. It's big in there. Big doors on that one. And that looks like the compressor. Oh, have a days. Yeah, mate. A factory workstation. Yeah, certainly a spray booth. Yeah, man. You just get the ladder for us, please, H. There's only one screw holding it. You keep holding the doors, H. Now you done, H. Clowns. What I'm gonna do, H, I'm gonna go in there Oh, you're a good old push. I'm going to give it some. <laughs> when I shout move. Yeah. Move. No worries. He ain't going to like this, is he? Well, he should pay up then, shouldn't he? Why do customers not think that we're going to take their stuff apart? Because they haven't seen anybody like us yet. Do I sound good looking? <laughs> <laughs> Get ready to run, H. Get ready to run. Oh, I'm ready, mate. I'm ready. He 
even when the hinges were hitting the floor. He must have heard that. He just carried on working on the wheel. He was definitely holding out. You think he never realised what was going on? Yeah, I think he realised. I think he was just calling our bluff. A normal agent would have just used scare tactics and not followed it through. Oh, that was his mistake. Confusing you with normal agents. What do you mean by that? Well, let's face it, you're not normal. You ready, H? I'm good to go. How are we going to do this? I reckon three, two, one. No, three, two, run. Three, two, run. Oh, three, yeah, two, yeah. run, all right? Yeah, 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 yeah. When I shout three, <laughs> two, run, you better start running. All right, cool. I'm up with that. And then we'll see if he wants to pay. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, run. I told him. <sighs> you kidding me? That's what happens, mate. What are you playing at? What are you doing now? I'll do you for assault. What do you mean doing me for assault? I'll do you for assault. Just pay your debts. I'll pay you. All right, get off me. Well, just a minute ago, you said I you said wasn't get off me and I'll pay. So you're going to pay now three and a half grand? Do you want me to pay you? Three and a half grand? Do you want me to pay you? Well, pay the finance company. Get off me then and I'll pay. You're going to ring them and pay? Get off me and I'll pay. It's going to pay now, H. Really? Well, that got his attention. Man, as I was running that, them doors hitting the floor, they made me jump. And my ears were still ringing as well. Yeah, the whole workshop shook. In fact, one of the sheep outside fell over. Oh, mate, it wasn't that loud. Oh, you're no fun. <laughs> I'm just adding to the story. Why is it always me? You're the best man for the job. It's been the best man for the job. The oldest man on the job. Yeah, but you are the best man for the job. You know this, and I know this. Come on, man. I seriously think we need to have a meeting. No, because it's just going to be the same end product. Board meeting. I haven't even got an office for a man, big board M meeting, but I think product. we definitely need to have a big board meeting. End product just Mate, I will rent an office, big <laughs> boardroom table, get everyone around it. First on the agenda, Gaffer, Gaffer. always gets beat up. Yeah, you've got to get stuck in. Crack on, doesn't it? Fill your boots, as I say. I'm getting hurt. You're you know, you can My neck's hurting. Yeah, boss, isn't Getting it? old. Listen. Do you know, when I move, I come with sound effects. <laughs> I'm getting that old. <laughs> Where's the customer gone? <laughs> oh, oh, here he God. is. There he comes, there he comes. I said I was going to pay, you're going to pay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, just get the grinder. That's a nice truck. In fact, that's a very nice truck. Looks a little dull. Need some colour. My truck! You did it. My truck! Like spraying stuff, does he? Like spraying stuff. Something, mate. Happy with that? 
I think you found the corner. Yeah, I'm pretty good, aren't I? I say, spray someone, mate. All right, I'll pay. What do you want me to do? Just call finance company. Right, I'll go and get my phone. Oh man, that was crazy. I've never seen you so angry. Covering a dude from head to toe in paints. That's gotta be one of the top 10 things I've seen you do. I must confess, I did lose a little bit. How do you reckon you got that off? Not my problem. But it's every time. <laughs> Tubs a good one. What was on it? Yeah, it was, mate. H. Wow. Really? <laughs> Just stay in these shots. Look what you've done. Me? You're cleaning the wagon. Who? You are. Why have I got a lot of trouble? I did all the attitude. Yeah. You're securing the vehicles and cleaning them. But no, oh, no, 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 Shall we? It's your wagon, you yeah, can. You, you think he's got the gun? Oh, behave, behave. He's got the gun. Your wagon, you can, you can clean it. You walk out, mate. Well, get him to clean it. He done it. I think I've done enough to him already, though. Still, he done it so we can do it. <laughs> H, here you go. You're paying, I'm not. Oi, oi! <laughs> Oh, okay. yeah. Should take this with us. Ah, it might come in handy, yeah. Customer's not paying. Customer's running at me. You need to take your jump box here, let's go. Cool. Mate, I ain't got my phone, but I got my card. All right, give us your card. I'll ring him for you. All right, mate. Um, I'm with Dylan Jones. Ah, uh, Dylan Jones, the nightmare. Yeah, can I make a payment, please? Yeah, yeah no I've, problem. I've got his card. It's 3,500. Brilliant. Ready when you are. 3,762. Done. That's done, mate. All right, then, mate. Have a good day. Cheers, mate. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yes, you can't. H, get the tools. Got there near me, didn't we? Yep. Have fun washing your truck, you clown. Have fun putting your doors on. Yep. I think he was on about you when you wrote this, H. There's a mess on the end of that, remember it. I'll tell you what, H, if repo doesn't work out, we could always join the circus. Nothing back, you know what he's gonna do. No turning back, you know for a fact, no friend but a foe for you. In the middle of the night, you wake with a fright because you feel a fool. You make it to the curtains, feel uneasy and certain, you know who's waiting for you. It's the Revo Man. It's the Revo Man. What's it really like to work with Sean? <laughs> What's it really like to work with Sean? Funny story for you. I've got this habit of falling asleep when I get in the cab. So one day, Sean's asked us, you want a coffee, mate? I said, yeah, I'll have a latte, please. 24 hours later, I'm still wide awake. I'm, wi I'm wired. Then Sean drops the bombshell. Mate, I put 27 espressos in that latte. I mean, what kind of boss does that? <laughs>